Hey everyone and welcome to this video. Today I will be showing you guys how you can make a shutdown timer which is a soft simple tool that you can make on Visual Studio. You can set your computer to like turn off or uh, like you can set the timer to shut down after and uh, after f after five minutes and it's gonna do that that uh, let me just show you how it works so this is your this is your timer now you can set this to like five minutes and 60 seconds and if you click set that your yeah, it's gonna shut down in six minutes and it's gonna turn off on 360 seconds and like you get a countdown timer here if you want to stop this and click here and it gets cancelled and yeah so it's nice so I'm gonna show you how you can make this and um this these are like the codes that I've used to do this and they're really simple I'm gonna make this uh, instead of doing a new project I'm just I'm gonna keep the design because this is not there is there ain't, there isn't much to show you all this is a label this is a label too these are text boxes these are buttons you can find them over here you can search them up here you got a timer and interval set to a thousand and it's it starts with being false I kept it to a windows fix tool like yeah so that is the design and I'm not gonna show you should make this from scratch instead I, I'm gonna, gonna keep all the basic stuff here so yeah, let's just keep to get started I assume that you just created the format now we are gonna get started on the code and so first off I'm gonna start with set now this is what you click on set this is where you end up first of all we have to make sure that if everything here is blank and it, it, the user still clicks on set it's gonna be taken as zero so we're gonna assume everything in here is zero by default so to do that I'm gonna type in a code called if text box one which is the first here by the way these are this is I, I forgot to mention this this is for the hours minutes and seconds okay so text box one is for the hours if our thought text equals to nothing then text box one dot text equals to zero that's now the same goes you don't need end if so the same goes for the other text text box which is for the second for the minute and then uh, for the seconds so that is okay so yeah this was saying it's for the input now whatever the user is whatever the user will input everything will be converted to seconds so now the hours are gonna get converted to seconds the minutes are gonna get converted to seconds and the seconds are gonna be seconds so the inputs are gonna be like this which is so we gotta declare something called dim hours as integer and hours equals to text box one dot text gets basic the hours are gonna get saved as seconds so the same goes for the minutes name same means as integer this can this will get multiplied by 60 because that is how you convert minutes to seconds now same 
seconds as and to just skip everything in order I'm gonna do the same for seconds but I'm gonna multiply seconds with one because I, I'm not gonna change anything for the seconds so dim text box 3 dot text it's gonna multiply by one because I'm not changing anything so yeah after that after the input has been taken we're gonna name something called total as integer as integer and total will be the total seconds so hours plus minutes plus seconds now we have all that going on here so we have this is the total value of seconds I'm gonna explain why seconds because we need everything in seconds because the code that I'm gonna be using actually doesn't work if it isn't if it isn't I'm gonna show you why so we have the total number here now I'm gonna make something that is like if my if total is less than like six seconds then it like if everything's if the if the total is zero then whenever the user is gonna click on set it's gonna shut down like before even the timer starts because everything is zero so if it's less than six then we're not gonna use any timers or anything we we we, we just we're gonna say something we're not gonna turn off the computer if it's if the second value if, if if the value is so less so it's a timer so it has needs to have at least a few seconds and so we're gonna say two less just to say that it isn't gonna work else it means it's more than six seconds which is okay it's, it's gonna use the shutdown code which is shell brackets and inside we're gonna type it shutdown dot e exe minus s minus t now if you just type in shutdown dot exe minus s it's gonna turn off the computer instantly but if you type in minus t then it means you're gonna you are gonna, you're gonna add a few seconds if you don't add anything else then it's gonna turn off instantly just. so i'm not gonna do anything instantly so we have a timer so and total so total is um total is the seconds after which it's gonna turn off so we did that now I'm gonna, I'm gonna add end if so then yeah so this is this is the main structure of the code now we gotta add something we gotta do something about the stop so stop is also same using the shell code now shell And inside it's gonna be shutdown dot exe and this time it's gonna be uh, this is actually how this is this actually starts stands for about so and now we're gonna make this timer work so it's gonna be in set so for that we need to add a timer which I have already done inside the timer inside the time first of all the timer has needs to have an interval of a thousand and it has to be false by default and inside inside the timer we are gonna type in something called label the one dot text equals to label one dot text minus one so whatever the value 
level 1 is gonna start with it's gonna decrease by minus 1 in the interval of a thousand which is the same as the second of like the clock second speed or so I, yeah and if level 1 dot text equals to 0 means it's done then lay lay um, then label one dot text is gonna be equal to by or something and when that's gonna happen we're gonna close the program so we dot close close the software so we dot close okay so we have all of that going on so now what if the timer is gonna work like we can do a little experience. so let's set this to 80 from 8, 8 minutes and 90 seconds set Oh, I mean, okay. Oh, okay. Uh, important thing here. Label one dot text equals to total and this is the shutdown close. So that will happen timer one dot start it's gonna start okay let's see it should work now too less because nothing is going on so if I give 8 minutes and let's say 8 minutes and yeah it so um yeah we we have we have something else to do here it's uh, we have a space and now let's see if it works seven minutes and yeah it's gonna shut down in seven minutes and if we about this then it's gonna close so yeah you can add in few a few more details here so that when we click on about then the timer run will stop and label one will become like yeah, the way it was before which was 0s yeah so you can add in more details to make it more better like you can add here text for the um yeah this has to be like in color like minutes and sense to make it more user friendly and stuff but the main thing the main framework of this was that you know you have a start button which is like set and then you can stop and like and yeah so that is the main thing here and I would say that the main code that does everything is this which is uh, like one line simple code and everything else is basically to make it work and so yeah simple and uh, useful tool for a lot of reasons and if you want to like make the timer like forward this style like you know just more than just seconds you can make it you know, hours minutes and seconds you can do that too I, can, I, I think I can make that happen but no not uh, this like maybe in another tutorial but um, so yeah thanks for watching and i will see you again in the next video with another tutorial